Today on Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the SpyPoint Flex G36. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. We've been using cellular trail cameras for a few years now, reviewed several of them, and a few of those have been SpyPoint cameras. So when they reached out to us to see if we would want to test out the Flex G36 last year, we jumped on the chance. We've had the G36 out in the woods for about a year now, so we're ready to tell you what we think. Now, I will tell you that there are some considerations we have for you before you buy this camera, so make sure you watch this video all the way through to the end. Let's review this thing. As always, we're gonna cover the facts. The first part is fit. The G36 is about five inches by four inches by three inches deep, and it's pretty lightweight. So it's not gonna take up a ton of space on your tree, and it doesn't really stand out if maybe you wanted to have it on public land. Now, as far as mounting the camera, it comes with a pretty long strap. So basically, if you can fit your arms around the tree, then you can probably mount this camera to it. And it does also have a tripod mount option on the back. So if you didn't wanna use a tree, maybe a mounting post, or you wanted to use an angled bracket, then they give you that option as well. So we're not gonna drag this out. Fit is a pretty easy question to answer. With its size, the strap, and the tripod mounting option, you should be able to fit it wherever you like. So we're gonna give Fit a five out of five. Now is the SpyPoint Flex G36 as advertised. The first thing SpyPoint advertises is improved battery life. We put this camera in one of our favorite spots that is pretty high traffic and also is known to have not great cell service. Other cameras have run out of battery in just a couple weeks and even as quickly as a couple days because when it's trying to send pictures, it's like constantly searching for a signal. On one set of batteries, we were able to get at least four weeks worth of use, which doesn't sound like much until you know that that was about 2,700 pictures. Comparing that to what we've had before, that was actually pretty good. Now, if your camera is in a less traffic area or you can even change the settings so it takes fewer pictures, then your battery should last longer. Probably though, if you have it on the video setting, then you may lose some battery life there. It does take eight AA batteries. Lithium tend to do the best. You can also use their LIT22 battery pack and it has an input so you can use a solar panel the next thing they advertise is stunning photos and videos. You're gonna need a micro SD card and you can have that up to 36 megapixel pictures and 1080p video onto that card. Now, when they're transmitted to the app, they are much lower quality so that you can quickly get them and you can just get an idea of what is happening at your camera. Now, if you should see a photo that you just love and want a really clear version, you can request the HD version and it's $5 to get 50 of those. On the video setting, it's pretty cool because it shows you like a three second snippet. So just like the photos, if you want the whole video, you request the whole video, and that's gonna be HD as well. And that is $5 for 20 videos. They also advertise a flash and detection range of 100 feet. So in this picture, you can see these deer are probably about 30 yards, which is close to that 100 feet range. The only thing that's triggering it here are the cars that are passing by that are probably 75 yards away from the camera. That's obviously due to the fact that it's a very large object, but I think you're pretty good at that 30 yard range. Another thing SpyPoint advertises is reliable connectivity. The Flex G36 comes with dual SIM cards, so it's gonna work on LTE networks from Verizon, AT&T, and US Cellular. And the really nice thing is that it automatically chooses the strongest network. With this camera, it did not seem that we ran into any issues with it not transmitting the photos, especially because you can go to the camera, pull the card, and see all the pictures that it took. And it never seemed like there was a big gap in what we got through the app and what was on the card. And finally, they advertise simple setup and maintenance. These cameras are pretty easy to set up through the SpyPoint app. You just add a camera, scan the QR code, and it should be right there. In the field, you can request a test photo so you can make sure you have it turned the right way and it's gonna capture what you want it to. Through the app, you can also make adjustments to the settings and just know that it takes until the next transmission for those settings to take place. One thing we don't particularly like 
is that to change the plan, you can't do that through the app. You have to go to the website. So that's a little annoying because everything else you can do through the app, it'd be much simpler to change the plans the same way. One nice thing though that SpyPoint has that others don't is you get a free 100 pictures. So if you forgot to set up a plan, you can get it turned on, get it started. Just when you get home, you're gonna wanna change your plan if you want more than 100 pictures. Overall, as far as those things we discussed, the Flex G36 does what SpyPoint says. I am gonna take a little off because of the fact that you can't change your plan through the app. So I'm gonna give, as advertised, a 4.7 out of five. Now onto construction and durability. Remember at the beginning, I said there were a few considerations we were gonna share with you. Well, we're gonna do that in this section. But first, like most trail cameras we have reviewed, the Flex G36 is made from what seems to be pretty high quality plastic. The antenna can also be removed, which makes damaging it in your pack a lot less likely. As far as the app, it's pretty easy to navigate as well. At the bottom of the app is gonna be your menu, where you can look at your cameras, the gallery of your pictures and videos, you can see the weather and more. Then with each camera, you can check the status. And at each camera, you can also look at just its pictures and videos. And here is also where you're gonna change that camera settings. Now here is where we're gonna talk about the issue that we did have. A few months ago, we moved this camera about two and a half hours away from where we live. We had it set to transmit six times a day. And at first it did really well, but then just all of a sudden it started transmitting every single picture. So every 40 seconds, it was transmitting photos to our app. We looked at the settings. It still said six times a day. We even tried redoing those settings, but it just kept sending them every 40 seconds. Well, that was also a fairly low signal area. So after about four hours of that, the camera completely died, which is less than ideal because the whole point was to see if pigs were there before we headed down there to go hunt. We eventually went and got the camera, changed the batteries, changed the settings, all that. And for about three or four days, it did the exact same thing. Then all of a sudden, it just started working correctly again. And since then, it's been doing just fine. I will mention that SpyPoint has a two year warranty. So if there are issues, they're pretty good about replacing them. As far as durability, the casing, the antenna, even the latch and the hinge on the battery and micro SD compartment, all doing well so far for us. I am gonna take quite a bit off because we did have that issue that was actually a pretty major issue for us. Because of that, I'm gonna give construction and durability a 4.2 out of five. Now onto testimonials and reviews. The Flex G36 did get a lot of really positive reviews, but there was also no shortage in complaints and negative reviews either. People said that it quit working after a week, a month, two months, some form of the camera just quit working. Sometimes it would send pictures, sometimes it wouldn't. The batteries drained quickly. People got messages that they had a failed SD card. They would switch out the SD card, format the SD card, nothing would happen. So we're gonna tell you the score we found. So testimonials and reviews gets a 4.1 out of five. Now finally, should you buy this thing? I think this is gonna be a little tricky to answer. We haven't had any of those problems we mentioned with this G36. We have had those issues with a couple of other spy point cameras we've tried, and we've had others that have had zero problems whatsoever. On that note though, I will say we have had pretty positive experiences with their customer service. We've been able to sit down with them, troubleshoot, talk through some things, sometimes fix it, sometimes figure out it's not gonna be fixed and they're pretty quick to send that replacement. Now, keep in mind, they're gonna try really hard to troubleshoot, so it's gonna take a while to get through that phone call. Make sure you got time and make sure you have your camera with you before you call. Having said that, it's kind of tough to be okay with your camera not working when the whole point is for you to be able to put it up maybe hours from where you live and still be able to know what's happening on your property. SpyPoint does have two newer cameras, the Flex M and the Flex Plus. We have both of those in the woods right now. So far, so good. We haven't had any issues. So that may be something you want to take a look at. We are gonna review those, so you may wanna subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss those when they come up. 
So I'm going to give Should You Buy This Thing a four out of five. Hey, thanks for watching our SpyPoint G36 review video. While you're here, share, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Head over to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com. Go to our Amazon store. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Threads.